it's me, Stormy, and we're going to talk about this full moon that is coming March 1st in the sign of Virgo at 11 degrees. Now, a full moon happening in Virgo is actually kind of awesome because one of the things you want to do is you usually want to reevaluate your fitness, your job routine, um, maybe clean out your house, your spaces. You want to organize things, which is actually a really, really useful energy because those are the skills and the traits of Virgo and energy, right? And at a full moon, the full moon is saying that something needs to be ended, acknowledged, or adjusted, right? So these kinds of shifts under a very organized sign can usually be very, very helpful for us. So don't be surprised if you find yourself thinking, I need to relook at my health, look at my health practitioners, look at my mental health, look at my diet, look at my daily routine, or if you're just wanting to show up and be of service somewhere, right? Because the big thing for Virgo energy is that they need to be needed. They want to be valued. They want to know that they're contributing something to the team of high integrity and value, right? Now, here's some interesting information about any full moon is that first of all, whenever we're having a full moon, what's happening is the moon is in opposition to the sun. So when we have the moon here in Virgo, we have the sun over in Pisces, which is a very dreamy energy, a very imaginative energy. And we need that energy so that we can walk in this space and kind of create in our heads first the reality we'd like to manifest outside of ourselves. So this is actually really, really a delicious energy, but it definitely lights up the polars in us, right? Like I, my needs versus my wants, what I have versus what I want, where I am versus where I want to be. But in this opposite duality kind of energy here at the full moon, we can look at ways to make this happen. Now, with this particular full moon, um, and all of them, really, it's going to be tied to the last new moon we had. So the last new moon we will have had will have been um, February 15th, the solar eclipse that happened in Aquarius. So my question to you to evaluate at this moon is, what did you set in place? What were those seeds of intention that you planted at that solar eclipse? And where are you on the road to making those goals? Because this Virgo energy is so detail-oriented, it will definitely help you to get there. Now, let's jump in here and take a full look at the astrology of what is going on with this Virgo full moon coming March 1st, 2018 at 11 degrees of Virgo. Okay, so this... Full moon, as we can see happening over here, is actually going to be sitting in an opposition not only to the sun, but also to Neptunian energy. So while the sun in Pisces is bringing a lot of vision to create this new reality, we can dip into this fantasy place, the place of it's not manifested in reality yet, but I can make it real. And instead, when we're dipping into the Neptune energy itself, this can actually create a little bit of deception or fog or confusion. Things that will be definitely on the top of highlight at this full moon are bad behaviors, um, any self-inflicted holdbacks, addictions, emotional instabilities will definitely have a light up because we have this opposition going here. So it's this opposition between what is going on in that space of we can't see it, but it's still got a behavior and habit attached to it. And where's the mental health space around it? Where's the change in habit around it, right? So this is going to be really interesting. But as you can see here, this is a very nice energy here with the moon making this beautiful aspect to Saturn, which actually is so helpful, you guys, because Saturn is a grounding energy. So Saturn helps us to take responsibility for the way we've been thinking, acting, and showing up in our lives, right? Our behaviors, our thoughts, our attitudes while we're out here. Because Saturn he wants to also bring structure, discipline. He wants to bring a little bit of hustle, right? So this helps us to shape and be accountable for all of these things that are being represented and shown to us that are standing in the way of us having an improved life, meeting our goals here at this full moon. Now, I'll tell you too, this is a really good time with these aspects happening here. Um, if you needed to do some kind of detox, go to rehab, get some closure on something, see a doctor, a psychologist, right? Virgo is naturally a healing sign. So there is some healing being trying, trying to be brought to the table. So it's a wonderful time for you to use your energies for that as well. Now, the other thing I think about when I am looking at this full moon being in this trine to Saturn is that it's such a 
a positive spin for us because it also brings in a high level of patience, right? Saturn is a patient, enduring sign. That's why it takes so long to move around, right? Now, the, mo the moon is about our emotions. So this brings some patience to our emotional life. We have got the full moon in an opposition to Neptune, which means um, you may not be, you may be ex experiencing weird psychic phenomena, weird feelings, some people um, nightmares, other people your emotional sensitivity could be high. Um, for some people, you could be experiencing a little bit of deception with them, right? You're not clear about what's going on. I would tell you, be mindful with the moon in an opposition to Neptune. Don't let it be you who's being deceptive. Be above board. Be honest. And don't take things too, too seriously. But whatever is being brought to the table, even if it's a mental health issue, an addiction, a spiritual sickness of some variety, um, this full moon in a trine to Saturn is going to give you a grounded feeling so that you can navigate the confusion. Maybe something's a little bit disorienting right? Now, here's the other thing. With this whole setup, your psychic sense may be so on alert that you're not sure what's real and what's fake. And this can actually create a little bit of panic. It can put you in a position where you feel like you are going crazy, but you're not. Trust your instincts. When you're making a decision, you've got Saturn to help you here. Rely on, at least for this full moon, some of your intellect, some of your wisdom, some of your knowledge base. This one, you can't just fully trust everything with your gut feeling, right? If you get a gut feeling that is so strong at this full moon, like you just know it, you just know what's happening in your relationship, you know absolutely what you should do with your finances, run it by someone outside of you, someone older, a good sounding board, a professional, anybody who is outside of you who can give you a little bit of wisdom because the answer at this full moon for all of us is yes, enjoy the meticulousness of that Virgo energy. Enjoy wanting to be helpful, but you should be pausing. This opposition to Neptune is no joke, and you can find yourself signing that contract, and you were not clear on the details, right? You can find yourself ending that relationship, and you were not clear on the details. You will find yourself saying, no, I got it, and I don't want to go to rehab. I don't want to have this surgery, and you are not clear on all the details, okay? And I do want to say this, too, because this is this Virgo full moon, um, I want you to pick if it's your time, if, if it's, if this is the timing for you where you are rethinking your health, your diet regimen, any of these things, I want you to set up structures and routines in your life that also include joy. You are not being punished for changing, okay? Full moons are not about punishing you for wanting to improve your life. So whatever the detoxification, the change, the shift, the adjustment looks like for you, make sure you choose something that is also fun that makes you smile while you're doing it, right? This is all about improvement, growth. Yes, perfect the pattern, perfect the process, but Virgos really do like to have a good time. And once they get involved in something, they're pretty loyal and they're going to ride it out. So whatever you choose, if you choose it by joy, I think you'll definitely be able to ride it out to the end as well. All right, guys, I hope the visual representation is still working from the feedback I'm getting from other videos. It seems to be. Like this video, comment, share, subscribe. I hope you are already signed up for the upcoming March Astrology 101 class that has the adjusted format. So you'll actually be experiencing it at a discounted price. So click in the description box down below. You'll have time to sign up before the end of February to be in that class. As well, I look forward to seeing you in $3 Thursdays. So click in the description box. Join, come learn with us. It's going to be a really good time. And um, March is busy, so you might as well come on in and we're going to talk about all that retrograde energy, all right? I love you guys. I will see you soon. Bye!